Right, so this morning while I was out shooting, I was thinking about some comments I read last night and this morning on Facebook with regards to my statement about long-range hunting. I said in my last video that I think long-range hunting is stupid. Perhaps that was the wrong choice of words. So I want to apologize to anybody that I potentially offended by that. I'm not into long-range hunting myself. Uh, let me show you an example here. So while I was at the range this morning, I spotted some cows over. I used my little Vortex Razor 4000. Zip! 912 meters. Now as I zoom out on that, you can see that that's pretty freaking far. Now would I shoot a steel target there any day of the week, sign me up, how much ammo should I bring? It's That's what we do, okay, or at least that's what I like to do. Um, would I shoot an animal there? No. The reason I'm uncomfortable with that is because I could have everything absolutely perfect and that animal can just do this and all of a sudden I'm hitting this much further back than where I wanted to hit, or there's a gust of wind. There's so many variables that's out of your control. And I know that because I'm not cleaning any long range matches. And if we sort of hunt at that distance, uh, that I, that this doesn't sit right with me. That's my personal opinion. What I didn't like is to see people climbing into my character and not adding to the discussion that was being had. And I removed them from, fa from, from the Facebook group because I think that speaks volumes about your own character when you're you know, you're criticizing my accent or I have a girly voice or you're saying that I'm a girl. Mm, yeah, I, I think that's immature and childish and we have zero space for that here. So yeah, that's kind of what today's video is about. Little just short and sweet. Apologies if you're offended. Different strokes for different folks. You do what you want to do. I'm going to do what I do. Personally on this cows, for example, I find the idea of trying to put a stalk together way more exciting than lobbing something in there. Um, and I think my chances of success is a lot higher. Now I may be extremely naive in my view that hopefully one day I can put my rifle away and say that I'm done hunting, which you're gonna have to put me in a wheelchair and then I'd probably still hunt. Um, that I'm gonna do my very best, my level best to make sure that I try and drop every single animal I shoot with one round in its tracks. And there's, that's probably not going to happen. Um, there will probably be some animal that gets away for whatever reason, but I'm going to do my part on all aspects to try and make sure that I can sort of hang it up one day, knowing that at least I've done that. Maybe if I don't even achieve that, I can still strive for that. Anyway, so thank you guys for watching. I appreciate all the positive comments coming from everyone on that video. You guys seem to like that video. Uh, we're probably going to go hunting very soon again. I haven't been hunting for that long but I enjoy it a lot and there's a reason I haven't been hunting long because I wanted to build up my proficiency to be able to take the kind of shots that I feel comfortable with in my limit and that's different for every person. Anyway with regards to pest control I think that's vastly different to hunting. Our mission is to get those pests off the farm. They do millions in damage with regards to crop livestock so that I think is a little bit different but perhaps I should do some introspection and think about that some more because uh, at the end of the day we are taking a life um, but I do feel with pest control though there is a little bit of, of a difference there so don't take me too much out of context when I shoot baboons at 600 meters but I try and hunt within 200 um, yeah then some other news I'm building a really little quick uh, 6.5 that I plan on shooting super flat um, out for the closer distances to do sort of more of the style of hunting that you guys did see here and if we do need to stretch its legs a little bit I'm talking 350 ish thereabouts it'll be absolutely plenty capable and it'll be a fun little rifle to shoot out in competitions to out to much further distances anyway that's a wrap for me this was difficult to do without sort of throwing more wood on the fire um, but yeah thank you guys for watching and uh, I will see you in the next video where I will show you how we shoot off a fence and get your gun stable cool bye